And the guy with the ball has been an incredible offensive player for St. Mary's, especially in recent weeks. Tommy Kinsey gets the first bucket of the night. So the Zags. Holmgren will put it on the floor. And the ball is stolen away by Logan Johnson. Two on one. Dukas gets it back. Lays it in. What a start. Dave, let's go back a couple possessions ago. Defensively, they talked about it. Chet Holmgren likes to spin, and when he spins, you've got to be aggressive and attack it. Logan Johnson timed it absolutely perfect. Here's Toss against the shot blocker Holmgren. Toss with the left hand. Kuzi got cut off there. Mitchell Saxon, young player, in for the Gales. Makes his move against Holmgren and scores to the foul. That was I, big time. If Mitchell Saxon's going to be doing this, uh, we could have a we could have a special night here in Moraga. I mean, that was a beautiful. Got that last bucket for Gonzaga. Here's Logan Johnson's three. Good. And that is not a strength of Logan Johnson. Kate Bennett, the son of Randy Bennett, plays on that team. We're going to the Open Division playoffs in high school. Nice lead pass, Jay Mullins finishes with some contact. Enjoy the rest of what should be a heck of a night here in Moraga. Gales leading number one Gonzaga. They've done that. Uh, it's been a very impressive 14 minutes so far by, by St. Mary's. Yeah, Drew Timmy also five. Mitchell Saxon blocked it off of Nemard. It went off of Nemard's head out of bounds. Okay, did this Mitchell Saxon you, come from? What'd you say his nickname was? The future is now. Yeah. I mean, uh, this is as good as he has ever played in the Gales uniform. And Randy Bennett's riding him. Tommy Cousy, meanwhile, he's already in double figures. He's got 10. Cousy double team, split the double team, and then Saxon found Bowen wide open. No, Saxon offensive rebound. Put back. I mentioned it on the one they made earlier. That's not his strength. Jay Mullins steals it away. And he's going to lay it in with the left hand. And that's a big part of why 26 out of the 31 points that St. Mary's has has been in the paint. Holmgren from Timmy high low and the seven foot freshman goes way above the rim to throw it down. After that miss. Well, and the Gonzaga Bulldogs trying to get some momentum. Great job out of the timeout. Drew Timmy loves this play. A little screen, slip it. Bolton three off iron it goes down that is the third block for Holmgren two to shoot Johnson underneath and what an inbound play for St. Mary's steal in the bucket and Gonzaga gets a stop to start the half Bolton transition three good that poor communication that time detail oriented orient defense is awesome in the first 20 minutes everything you did in the first half you need to ramp up again because this Gonzaga team is going to come out on fire Bolton attacks and scores Roger Bolton great start to the second half shot clock winding down Kuzi with the shot blocker in his face oh and it scores anyway how about the touch on that shot smart decision that time by Tommy Kuzi Matthias Toss goes right at the big man with the foul. And Toss, what he did so well there, you see, Chet lunged just ever so slightly. That lunge forced him to play from behind. Been seven teams to lose in one single day. Turnover. Nemhard the other way. Nemhard, no. Tip up. Good. Julian Strother. And he hit the floor hard. Nemhard's hounding Tommy Cousy, who had to work just to get the ball. Extra pass. Duke is three. Good. Shot selection that time by Tommy Cousy. Holmgren backdoor to Bolton. And Bolton slipped. Cousy disrupted it. That looked like it was going to be a layup. And everybody puts the stop sign up for St. Mary's. Toss. Score. The ball movement has been sensational for St. Mary's. Kuzi finds Toss wide open, and then Holmgren came from nowhere to swat it away. But, they, I mean, look, they, they've had great players develop while they've been here. Patty Mills, Matthew Della Madova. Johnson, Johnson. attacks! And dunks right on top of Drew Timmy! 
Johnson has put on a show here for all of us. In fact, the shoot around, we said, hey, you got a haircut. Might make you more aerodynamic after you missed the dunk against BYU. That was electric to see him at that end of the floor elevate up and finish in the paint. Drew Timmy just ducked out of the way, said, I'm not getting dunked on today. Timmy, the answer, not quite as spectacular, but it counts the same. This time bounces it to his teammate and Cox lays it in. It's 20 points in the plus column for St. Mary's. Salas the other way. Hunter Salas rejected by Johnson. Who's flying all over the gym. Awesome. And on the defensive end, almost as spectacular. Toss. Timmy blocks him. Toss goes behind the back and threw it away. Bowen tried to feed Saxon. Watson flings it up. Loose ball. Dukas comes away with it. That time on the shot clock. You don't need to rush it. There's a lot of really good teams in college basketball. You think about eight teams that could maybe win a national championship. Clearly Gonzaga is one of those. Clearly Arizona is one of. I mean, almost everybody that lost today is one of those eight teams. In all of WCC play, Gonzaga failed to lead for just 20 minutes. They have not led for one minute. Bolton. Gets it back. Tries to go by. Cozy scores with a foul. Then we sit there and say Gonzaga needs a spark. Bolton has been the guy in the second half to do it. Oh, they got to value the basketball. And if O2 back on the bench, Bowen is back out offensively. They're going to leave him wide open from beyond the arc. Cozy good off the glass. Defense! Big number for him considering the way he's been playing lately. Holmgren, good defense to cut him off. Strother, long three. Good. Can the Gales finish tonight a game that they have controlled the whole way? Bowen's going to try another one, and he finally hits it. Huge! <laughs> so what you want them to do is hopefully have to take a contested perimeter shot and not allow them a clean look. Wide open, Kyle Bowen hits another one. Okay, that's the game. And in, in Kyle Bowen's mind, he's a shooter, and he's hit his last two, and those two have been huge versus St. Mary's and Randy Bennett's team. Uh, I was with you. Joe Lenardi's going to be working late tonight. Johnson layup. No, he missed it. Uncontested. Maybe some life for the Zags. Swatted away by Toss. I foul him. Foul him right now. Yeah, I would too. They steal it away instead. And Strother lays it in. That gives the Zags some hope. What a night for the Gales. We got stuff being thrown on the floor. This thing's over. Back Look down the hatch of the Moraga. Holy smoke. Our broadcast table is out on the court right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.